Hey YouTube, Adi Forgan here and in this video I am going to show you how you can check your degradation with your MEB car. An ID3, ID4, Skoda Enyaq, Audi Q4 e-tron and the Cupra Born which will head the roads very soon. Uh, there are two ways to do this. One, driving by yourself and calculating your capacity and two, read it by the app. Step one we did in the previous video and that was uh, drive from 100% till 0% and calculate your uh, battery capacity by your mileage, dri driving distance times multiplied by your uh, consumption value. In this case we did I think top of my head and that was uh, 550 kilometers times the consumption value of 130 to what are per kilometer, 132, which gives us, or at least my car, at least that drive, a battery capacity of 72,600 watt hour. So 72.6 kilowatt hour battery capacity. I think it's personal, I think you can drive two, maybe 3% under zero. So if I say I multiply this by 2%, so, uh, so we have a total net usable battery capacity of 102%, which gives a battery value of 0 0.2, uh, 74,052 watt hour per kilo, uh, watt hour battery capacity. So 74.05 kilowatt hour. This is step one, or at least this is way one. The second way you can check out your battery capacity is not by doing this but having an obd2 ad adapter in my case i'm using vp bla plus plug it into your car first time you will feel a resistance so you need to go through the resistance before it plugs okay i think you need to break an anti-temper thingy on the obd port plug it in after you plugged in Download the car scanner app and if you download the car scanner app, install and initialize your car like this here. Click on the link if you don't know how to initialize car scanner on your car. And then you start, in my case I already did it, you start car scanner app. If you did start the initialization, setting it up to your car, you press connect. Now wait if it connects. It's connected. Now, you press all sensors and then you scroll all the way down. And then the second from below, you will see a line named maximum energy content of the traction battery. And it's exactly what it says. It will show you the capacity of the usable battery of the car. After it's done loading 300 elements, you will come on the second list and it will show you, in my case, with 21,500 kilometers, just sh in miles, it's I think around 13,500 miles, I have a capacity of 73,979.96 watt hour. So let's say in short, 74 kilowatt hour battery capacity. What we did calculate was, let me show you, it was 74.05. So I would say it's close enough. Now we go back. This is one way of finding this value. The second way, if you don't want to scroll, you press the filter, you type content and then there, again second from last, but it doesn't matter, you don't need to uh, scroll all the way down and here it also says the same value so my battery if the battery has left the factory with 77 kilowatt hour which I just can't check it out anymore because we are almost one year later um, I have a degradation of now let's calculate of 74 divided by 77 
and I have a failure of 96.1%, which is 3.9% degradation after 21.5 thousand kilometers, 13.5 miles. I would say not bad. For me personally, I'm using it as normal. I'm AC charging almost daily to 80%. Uh, I am using fast charges on the occasional long rides. I'm driving fast, so I am heating the battery up. Um, you name it. I am not the ideal EV driver, I would say. But I'm not charging it to 100%, almost never, only maybe only for uh, my, de my degradation test last time. It was not a degradation test, it was uh, how far I can drive on a charge, but in the end it was a de de degradation test. And on the long trips I had this year, which maybe four, four, five times I have charged still 100%. Okay, maybe 10, just for fun and giggles. But hey, 10 times charging to 100 and my degradation is 3.9%. I think it's not bad. It's not bad at all after 20,000 kilometers. I want to make a battery degradation charge. So I want to ask you to put uh, the value you see on the app on my Discord. I will just create a new channel or as a comment here below. I want to ask you to give me your battery capacity, your mileage, your usage, only AC, only DC or a mix, and the picture itself or the values itself. So if you have 74,000, put them as 74,000 and I will try to make a list uh, of your degradation, a chart I mean. Interesting for me, interesting for you guys to see what it does with your car. This is how you calculate and check out your battery capacity. Two ways, manual and with the app. The app is so much easier, you don't need to drive for seven hours. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, give a like and I will see you again in my next video. Later!